All right, let's go over belts. This is this is one thing that's not really gone over too much. What I have here is a stock belt on here. I keep my belts because I, I just keep a lot of my older parts and unless they're really torn up I don't get rid of them. Now your stock belt or your stock Honda belt is made by Honda Bando. It is a good overall belt. It will last you many miles. What happens with these belts is like I said before when you take your covers off or your front cover and your rear cover and you look in here and you see I've got it all clean the reason I have that clean is I'm looking for oil and looking for other damage when I go to do my inspections what happens with these belts is that the constant wear on the edges right here and here and here causes the belt to disintegrate. It dis disintegrates into this black fuzzy rubber and it will get all over everything which it doesn't hurt anything but it kind of gives you an idea of what the belt's doing and how it's working. Now remember that the rear pulley all these all these parts don't change. Your front variator and drive face don't change. Let me see if I can find a, a drive face over here. What happens is your belt disintegrates and as it disintegrates it starts to slip. Now this is the, the drive face which goes on right here. This is an old one, it's not the right one. Okay, so just I had it over here in this shop because the original is over in the other shop and I don't want to go and get it. When the, the belt here disintegrates, it slips. As it slips, you lose power. The belt is supposed to slip, in my opinion, a little bit. It's not supposed to be like a gear, like from here to here and constantly go. It, it stretches a little bit, it slips a little bit. But it's not supposed to slip too much. Therein lies the, the next thing that we talk about is kind of belts. This is a bandeau belt which is about I don't know like 30 bucks I think from Honda very good belt there's also a lot of aftermarket belts this is one I got a couple years ago this is a heavy-duty guaranteed tough Kevlar belt which is great Kevlar what I like about the Kevlar is they do not um, stretch and that's the problem I have with them and that tells you on the back what it fits and then this other belt is the top of the line belt which I have not used this is a Molossi Kevlar belt for and they'll say it's for the Honda Dio and they also go and tell you what everything about it and they even give you a really cool decal I like I like that decal I'd really like that decal now this is your most expensive belt I don't know it's 50 or 60 dollars I had to order it overseas I think it was Europe this one I'm not sure where I got this one at but this one is a really good one now with a motor like this, if your belt slips or the belt stretches too far, it's no good. What happens when that when it does that is a couple of things that I've found. I have taken off these drive faces right here, and I found a big blue and a yellow mark right in there, a burn mark. I'm like, what in the hell is that? What happens is the belt stretches and it's supposed to be up here at a high speed. Well, it stretches so much it, it, it warbles. And when it warbles, what it does is it catches this right here and it will actually unscrew this locking bolt right here. That's why I use red Loctite on here. And I thought that, uh, and I've walked home many times because of that. So those are the three types of belts you can get. You can get stock, you can get ordinary Kevlar, heavy duty, 
or you can get the Molossi, which I haven't tried yet, but I imagine it's really, really good. Because everything Molossi sells is, is really good for these for these engines. Now, next video, we're going to go on to how we've used a 1500 stall on the back. We're going to talk about how to adjust the front. Because it's not done with a spring, it's done with these variator weights.